All right, nice little quick check of uh, do-it-yourself solar system. Now that we're getting into May, and it's about noon right now, exactly. So look at my little volt amp deal from utility power, four amps. So it's still drawing four amps off utility first stage. I unplugged the DC bus. It's going up about eight. So it's like reducing half when I plug in the panels. Generally, if it's pulling about that much, you know, sometimes it's just the solar won't actually be able to produce enough to run it on its own, but it actually is right now. It's going to go to zero. And it is running it. So what it is, is um, as we're discussing, I think, a little bit in the chat, you know, in, w in which this is the reason I was trying to make my regulator, which is disconnected right now, was whenever the voltage was at the minimum amount I needed for the VFD to run, I wanted it to basically cut out the utility power automatically. And as the DC bus sagged just enough, it would just start bringing on the utility power. Well, that's proved to be kind of a hard circuit to make. I need to get back to that. But once the voltage goes a little higher, like when the solar produces a little more power, it kind of uh, stays up to where the diodes aren't um, biasing on at all. Like, so the other couple days that come in the afternoon when the sun's at a little better angle, I guess, this is usually at zero. Even though I don't have the uh, voltage regulator to shut off the utility power, it's just been drawn up. So right now, basically all I'm just trying to explain is it works just tying them both together into a VFD, both AC utility, going through the rectifier, and the DC power from the solar, but it does... Sometimes, like right now, my DC power from the panels are indeed enough to run this thing by itself. Just enough probably right now, but it is. But, see, so I'm not benefiting, so I'm still pulling four amps when I could be pulling zero amps right now. Yeah. I can also, um, I have enough basic wattage, it's just getting the voltage up a little higher. Because that's just what I do. That's why I like the Hodge Twins channel, because I'm not really doing what they do. They do like what I do. Oh, yeah. I've been saying that just, I don't know, and I'm not the only one either. Just like saying that, you know, <laughs> sometimes. And those guys have made a theme out of it, and it's, it's badass. I like that channel. But anyway. If I add two more panels down, like just add another, a couple more to bring my uh, bus up another 30 volts, it might be too much for the VFD unloaded that it might trips it or blows a MOV surge suppressor or something. I could, but I could always make like a switch over here that when the unit's running, it like switches and includes those other two in series. That might actually be an easier and cheaper way than building uh, a regulator. Because then my uh, loaded voltage will go up closer to 360, and I might be within the realms of the uh, VFD. But when I go unloaded, your unloaded voltage goes up a bit. So right now, my loaded voltage is 330 on the panels, and unloaded gets up pretty close to 360. So I think I'd be up pretty close to 390 if I added two more panels parallel to add one more in series effectively another 30 volts in series but 50 bucks a panel i can go get those i'd have to just uh do a little bit of funny wiring over there and add a control wire from here over to the relay but as soon as the vfd was running has a run command i could have it flip that and it will uh basically go uh from bypassing those two panels to uh including them when it's running and then as it's running that fucking uh It'll be so far above the uh, voltage of the utility power, it'll never bias on the diodes. I think that's brilliant. Um, somebody got me thinking about it through the comments, and that they're right, you know, and it makes sense because you're only biasing current when the utility voltage of the sine wave is above the current DC bus voltage. So it's like 330 ish, depending. It fluctuates, and that's probably why I get a little bit of difference because your AC power is not the same. Sometimes it might be 240 out here. Right now it's 245. So, which is why it's probably biasing more current today. So, 
that, that's actually probably what I should do. And then I'll just take that back out. I won't need that regulator at all anymore. Plus, two more panels. It's 250 watts. 250 watts would be 500 watts. So it'd probably have better chances of maintaining, you know, a, a lot more supply when this does kick up the second stage once uh, we get in the heat of the summer. Right now, this thing's hardly ever hitting second stage, except for when it um, goes from uh, set back to, you know, a lower temperature. So I'm trying to make it run continuously all day long on low just to run on solar as much as I can. Now it's a uh, 2.08 p.m. We're on first station. 243 volts and zero amps. Again, what would it be utility power if you didn't have any solar connected? 42 amps, yeah, I dropped another bolt from the sag on the utility power. Zero amps. Zero volts. Or the three other volts inside is power now. Zero amps. Still. It just shows that it makes a difference. Actually sag. Yeah. Well yeah, so right now the DC bus I guess is keeping the voltage just above uh, the point where you're going to get any forward bias on the diodes and the rectifier. If we uh, went to second stage, of course, the uh, solar probably might not maintain the DC bus voltage at that now, so you'd get more more of the utility power. So, yeah. I do have a couple transformers. They're just, uh, they're only one kilowatt, though. <laughs> but I'm, I might, uh, I do a test though where I still put it in series just to see if it'll drop the voltage. Try it maybe both ways just to see which way favors a slight reduction maybe in utility power. The only bad thing about going through a transformer is there's loss. So will that a little bit of loss be acceptable in lieu of uh, you know running more off of solar throughout more of the day so that's so it's still up there at two o'clock this time of year. But Come, uh, you know, once we get in like July, the temperatures will cause my panels to diminish their output a little bit, even though the days will be longer. So, yeah.